Hi, I'm James with RenergyCafe.com. Thanks for checking out the Learning Center. Today I'm going to be talking about electrolysis. Now, unless I otherwise state, because I'm going to have a couple videos here, we're going to just be talking about simple electrolysis. Alright? So, let's go ahead and get started here. Electrolysis. Alright. Now, electrolysis is the process of converting H2O as you all know is water to HHO which is a combustible gas and obviously there's some very very useful uh, purposes uh, that we would have for creating HHO uh, in fact some people have already started to run combustion engines on HHO but let's go ahead and say we have some water All right. and generally there's going to be electrolyte in here uh, there's baking soda or uh, whatever, you can use any electrolyte. But let's just say, for this example, we just have water in it. Now, if you have a positive terminal and a negative terminal, and they come in here, all right? On this negative side, whenever you turn the power onto this and you have the current flowing, it's obviously going to be flowing some through this water. On this negative side, you're going to start to get bubbles that produce. And these bubbles that produce are going to be hydrogen. So the negative terminal is hydrogen. And the bubbles that produce on the positive side are oxygen. All right. Now, one thing you want to notice is that more hydrogen is created than oxygen. Hence the HHO. That's why we're splitting those two hydrogen atoms. Okay, so this is pretty simple electrolysis. You run current through water and you get hydrogen and oxygen gas that is released. Now say we were to move these two closer together, these two leads that are in the water, all right? And uh, let's just go ahead and say these are connected to plates that run down through there, stainless steel plates, because that's generally what's used, stainless steel plates. So let's say we have these stainless steel plates and... Uh, you now we're coming up to our battery here. I'll go ahead and even draw a battery here. And uh, we have our positive and our negative side here. And we're coming in to these plates right here. We have our level of water. And uh, if we move these two closer together, this regular production that we had, by moving them together, now increases it. Now there is a level at which you get too close and it doesn't increase anymore. What, what tends to happen is that these bubbles get trapped in between the two plates and it's no longer efficient. So there is a space that you want, but it is close. Uh, one thing that you need to take into consideration though is that the closer you get these two, uh, th these two plates, the more current you're going to produce. As the resistance decreases, as you bring those plates together, the current increases. Now if you're setting up just a small project and you want to see how this works and you have a little 9 volt battery and you run a couple wires from a paper clip in, into this water and you just want to see how it works you got to be careful if you get them too close or if you touch them in there everything's going to get hot and that battery could explode uh, you know if you're using small wires and using something like a 12 volt source you can actually melt the wires so that's, why, that's what's important to understand you don't want these to touch you never want it to touch and uh, that is right here just your simple electrolysis Creating hydrogen on your negative terminal, oxygen on your positive terminal, and understanding that the closer you get those together, the more gas it's going to be produced.